It took years of analysis and painstaking attention to detail to capture Osama bin Laden, and when it was done, former CIA analyst Nada Bakos and a team of women got much of the credit for understanding how to follow intelligence. If you lead the intelligence, you're going in with a bias and a presupposed idea of, of where you want to end up with the information. If you let the intelligence lead you, then you don't end up thinking about it in the terms of, I already know the answer. You're actually going to let the information tell you the answer. The process of analysis and targeting, they're very similar. One is looking at the broader picture and you're, you're digesting all of that information down for a policymaker to understand what's happening someplace. On the targeting side, you're actually looking for tactical, actionable intelligence that you can then give to your action arm to, to take action on. Could it be that the female perspective on risk helped Bakos and her team see the bigger picture in their analysis of intelligence? I think women do see risk differently long term because I think um, women tend to look at things a slightly different than men. There's, um, I don't truly believe that we have all these better multitasking skills, but what I do think we can do is see long-term picture. Um, we are genetically predisposed to um, protect, and a huge part of that is um, community resilience and, and long-term health. It so happened that in the beginning of, of the hunt for Al-Qaeda at the CIA, it was mostly women. There was an Alex station that started out in the 90s and that job was not super sexy. It wasn't a job where you're gonna get promoted, but these women identified an issue early on with Bin Laden's organization and, and stuck with it. And they had the patience to actually sit down and slog through all of that information. While the movie Zero Dark Thirty featured much artistic license, the documentary Manhunt was as real as it could get. Manhunt, the documentary for HBO, is, is more representative of what it's like on a day-to-day -day basis and what it was like in that 20-year period in the hunt for Al-Qaeda. I can't speak for the agency now going forward, but um, for that time period right before and after 9-11, uh, Manhunt gives you the closest depiction at this point that you can get on film.